Hi everyone, it's Melissa Davis from By Me Me With Love. It's Saturday night and I'm coming to you to start, to share starting a new collab with you. Um, Enchanted 71 has started a bingo collage challenge and what she is doing is you draw five numbers every week for 15 weeks there's 75 numbers and each number represents a prompt and she is doing bingo she's actually got a bingo machine to draw her numbers from which is really exciting and fun um, I don't have a bingo machine and neither does Annie Create. So, uh, Melody Made is um, doing our bingo numbers and then we're all three sharing the numbers, which is a lot of fun as well. <laughs> um, so, make sure that you go check out Enchanted 71. Tell her by Mimi with Love sent you. You can hop in and out of this collab at any time. So it's an open collab. And you're just doing a collage with five prompts each week for 15 weeks. So I decided I wanted to um, <clears throat> create a place to put my collages because more than likely I will use them for... Um, master boards so um i went and got the i went to dollar tree to get the vanilla color vanilla colored envelopes but uh envelopes oh my gosh y'all can't talk folders file folders well they didn't have them they just had the red file folders so i got those and i got a um trapper keeper you know the one with the pocket right here and just cut it to the size the file folders I cut off the tabs and cut everything down to the size that I wanted my book to be okay so that's how I'm going to be storing my um, collages so we are going to start week number one which I missed last week. I'm starting late. So I'm going to back up and catch up with week number one. Week number one, the post, uh, the prompts were um, number 13, number 29, number 38, number 41, and number 66. 13 is a postcard, 29 is lined paper, 38 is a ticket, 41 is a bird, and 66 is ledger paper, okay? So, let's get started. And what I want to do first is I'm going to use some of this um, musical paper and go around... Um, the edges of some of the places I'm pretty sure is going to have some um, bald spots on it. Okay. And I think I'm going to um, of course I really should use my glue stick, wherever in the world that is. I think I may need a new one. Definitely, that is done for. Let's see if I can get any more out. Um, this is going to be a fun collab, guys. 
I love the clubs that you can jump in and out of. So if you get busy and just don't have time, then that's okay. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that over. Make sure I get that into the crease cut. And let me um, pause you all just a second while I get some glue out here because <laughs> that's not going to work very well. Hold on just a minute. Okay, guys, I got a new glue stick to work with. I think that's going to be a little better. And I'm going to put just a little bit of the paper up here as well. It's much easier with the new glue. <laughs> Just a little bit. On those edges. So everything stays glued. Okay. Let's start over here at this edge. And make sure everything gets covered. I'm gonna I think I had you all out of frame. Okay, now I'm not sure um, where else we may need. Maybe down through there. Let's just go ahead and in case and there we have that whole area kind of framed I laid it out earlier and there was definitely some gaps that needed to be covered so I'm just trying to avoid a hard situation <laughs> okay let me get a drink about that and I do want to put some uh, gold on here my texture paste a little of my texture paste <clears throat> I'll add more later because of course you won't see most of this but um after I cover it up, it's a lot harder to get any on it, so I'll just put a little bit, so. start. Well, let me put the lid back on this. I think we can start building our pages, though. Um, see, I've got this um, to go here. Let's see if that 
I think we're going to do it this way. Yes. Because I've got something else with a straight edge to go there. Not looking like much right now, is it? <laughs> okay, let me get some down right on the folder. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm running over the ribbon. I used ribbon to bind the book. Sewed it together. I just I think these may make really nice master boards. Trying to get that covered really well. <coughs> well, and then we're just on a woo. I got it covered pretty well, that's for sure. I don't think that I got that over far enough, but there we go. Very nice. Where my blue towel is, but I get here it is. I am definitely in need of it. Still looking a little odd with all this red, and of course, all of my collages will because I'll have that red to cover up every time. Now, <coughs> sorry guys, I want to come in with this and put it right there. I know it's really looking a little odd, isn't it? But I'm hoping it's going to work. <laughs> I hope anyway. Um, there's really not much of a theme that I'm keeping in mind for these um, collages. We have the prompts. Um, so I'm really just looking to more or less create master boards. I just that makes them very useful. So, okay, really liking that. Let's get some of this red covered up and maybe we'll feel better or I will feel better about it. I've got this humongous chair that I'm absolutely in love with. So that's going on. And then I also love this. I'm not sure where that's going. Now let's let's refer back to our prompts. We need a postcard, line paper, a ticket, bird, and ledger paper. Okay, let's get our um, let's find my lined paper oh, in all this mess. Here's some things I need to hold out. Okay, here 
this is lined paper. You can see the lines on it. But, um, can you see them? I stamped it. So, um, let's see. I'd kind of like for that to take care of that situation. I don't like that. And it's come down a little. I'm thinking that right here. And then I'm going to put some of that. Okay, that's going to have to... Let's try it like that. There we go. And that there. And I've got all this torn paper here. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Now, I've got this um postcard or I've got a little postcard I'm not sure which one I want to use yet okay I'm dropping things hmm they take that across there um This under here. And because I want to use this gorgeous butterfly, which is going to go here. So, <laughs> let's see. I just, I think instead I want to use this little bitty postcard. I like that much better. And it can sit on top of that. And then there is a bird. And that can sit on top of that. And then, and then here are my tickets. guys I like it I'm just looking to see what else I might have but I'm kind of liking that make sure a little more of that purple shows which brings those together maybe put that like that so it's on both pages? Yes. Okay, that's a whole lot, guys. I'm going to move this. Well, these small pieces, I'll remember. I just placed them up here. So let's get this. This piece right here on first. Oh, I need to trim off that. I need to trim this. Okay. That'd be great. Yeah, 
now would be a good time to find my scissors. <laughs> Hold on a minute, guys. Okay, guys, because my video is getting long, I went ahead and glued everything down. Now I'm going to go back with my gold texture paste again and just add a little, just a little bit of gold. I'm also going to write, I'm going to write my the bingo, the numbers I use, the bingo numbers I use somewhere on every collage. That way I know what I've used. Okay, I like the way that that is looking. Just a little bit more on there. Okay. And let's see. Let's write our numbers that we used on this. And I'm going to write it on the postcard so it's the first week. So this is number 13. 13. 29. 38, 41, and 66. I got gold all over me. And number 13 was the postcard, which I've got covered right there. Uh, 29 was the lined paper. Got that covered right there. You can see. 38 is the ticket. I've actually got, um, turn this around so y'all can see it. I've actually got one, two, here's another one, three tickets on here. And... Bird, here's a bird, here's a bird as well, and ledger paper, here is ledger paper, you can see the account number stuff on it, I love it, I like the way it looks, I like the way it turned out, and um, my hands are a mess, I always spill and stuff guys. But I think I'm happy with that as it stands. Um, I like the way it looks. What do you guys think? Love the butterfly. Yeah. So this is week one. Right? Now, for week two... Because the, um, um, numbers <laughs> call for triangles and circles, um, I want to do week two on the front of my booklet. So this is going to be one week, and then the rest of them will be double layouts like this and then this will be number 15 or whatever number I decide to do it in but um, 
I really like the prompts for this week. And they are number three, triangle, number nine, circles, number 16, an illustration, number 11, a chair, and number 45, pattern paper. And I want to do it on the front cover. I think that will look really good. So, I've got it ready to go to for the sake of time. I mean, I'm already 25 minutes. Of course, most videos won't be the, this long because I won't normally be doing two weeks at a time. But I wanted to get caught up. So, the first thing we're going to do, because this is, um, you know, a shiny folder. Nothing's going to stick to it very well. So I'm going to sand it a little bit. Oops. So don't need to sand my ribbon. My glue will stick. And I'm just using a fingernail file. The coarse the coarse side of the block, you know. it will stick a lot better you can see I've dulled some of the shine so let's see what we can do with that and I've already got my design laid out have I got that upside that's the right way okay I love this design collage thing here I just love it and I went ahead and made a bingo card. And then I put all the winning or the num numbers of the prompts this week. And I just think that's adorable. And this is going to be the front of my card because this is my bingo book. I uh, know we got circles and triangles. I did this circle with alcohol ink on my jelly plate and it's going to kind of go up here under here and peep out here's a triangle with a circle in it and then here's another circle here's two triangles and this uh paper right here um, Annie Creates gifted me in a swapping glue. Um, there's some of it on. I'll show you on, when I finish this. I think I used some of what she gifted me on my other collage as well. Okay, so let me see how I had this placed, guys. Okay, there's the chair. There's that other circle. And see, that's what I want to do right there. And then I love the bingo on the car, on the front. This is my bingo book. So I'm going to pause you all because my video is already at 30 minutes. Get this glued on. And then I will get back with you and we'll have a look. Okay, guys, there it is. Here's my collage for bingo week two with triangle, circles, illustration, chair, and pattern paper. Here is triangles. 
Here's another triangle with a circle in it. Here's two more circles. Here's two more circles. Um, illustrations. Here's an illustration. Well, all of these are, really. This one is... Um, a chair. Here's the chair. And I stamped it on pattern paper. Here's my numbers for the week. And this is week two. I just love how this turned out. I think it made an awesome cover. It's bingo. So the whole book is about bingo. And then here is the week one. And I'm very happy with it. I think. They turned out great, and I'm thrilled. I want to thank Lori of um, Enchanted Dream 7-1 for hosting this open collab. I'm already having fun. Thank you so much, Lori. And I want to thank um, Melody and Annie for sharing their prompts with me, and that's it, guys. That's it for bingo. And we'll be back same time next week and have the next the week three done. Thanks so much. Please go by and share some crafty love with Lori. I will put her information in the description box below. And if you do, please make sure you tell her that by me, me with love sent you. And um, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And from Virginia, guys, we'll be talking to you really soon. Bye-bye.